Hi, my name is Ewald de Meere. Welcome to this video, which is the first one of a series on Tischer's Minuet in B-flat major. With this series, I intend to show how this small keyboard piece can give impetus to improvisation. For instance, in function of varied repeats, of a set of variations, or even of a new minuet. Today, I will focus on its first four bars, and more specifically, on how one can elaborate differently the right hand with half notes, quarter notes, and eight notes. These bars consist of two schemata, a stepwise romanesca and a printer. As a consequence, this Romanesca and its following printer overlap. Bar 3 works both as the third segment of the stepwise Romanesca as as the start of the printer. This implies also that the upper voice moves in parallel thirds with the bass throughout both opening schemata. Let's get back now to Tischer's actual minuet. The way he transformed this schematic version into an actual composition is in fact quite straightforward. The schematic version of the right hand is simply enhanced with three mordants and one trill. Also, the elaboration of the left hand in Tischer's minuet remains quite basic, merely adding broken triads to the first bass note of the first three bars. Tischer's version is of course only one possibility amongst many to decorate this opening gesture. I will give now some alternative elaborations for the right hand of the first three bars. The simplest substitute for this stepwise Romanesca is when one opts for the other first choice upper voice that goes along perfectly with this bass. That is, an upper voice which ascends a third, then descends a fifth. In this version of the stepwise Romanesca, vertical thirds alternate with vertical sixths. If one would like to emphasize the printer somewhat more, one could play on the third beat of bar 3 an F instead of a B flat. Let's go one step further now and see if we can come up with some versions in running quarter notes in the right hand. When starting from the stepwise Romanesca with an upper voice in parallel thirds, we could, for instance, change the half note on the first beat of each bar into two quarter notes via an ascending leap of a third followed by a descending leap of a fourth. When starting from the stepwise Romanesca with a leaping upper voice, an easy and beautiful way of having running quarter notes is by adding a passing note on the second beat of each bar in the right hand. Let's add some eighth notes now, for instance, to the first beat of each bar. One could do this by using a descending triad, a decoratio inspired by Tischer's ascending triad in the bass, or by means of a passing note motif. Alternatively, a neighbor note motif could be used. When the schematic interval is descending, as is the case here, an upper neighbor note works very well. For an ascending interval, a lower neighbor note would be the first choice. And here you can see and hear some versions with eighth notes on the second beat of each bar using triads. Neighbor note motifs. And passing note motifs. Let's extend the eighth notes now to the first two beats of each bar. 
Again, this can be done, for instance, with broken triads. Or with neighbor and passing note motifs. Other options present themselves when starting each bar with an 8th note rest. This is a version using neighbor note motifs and this one is based on broken triads. I leave it to your creativity to come up with versions in running 8th notes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it can help you to improve your improvisation skills. In my next video I will continue to focus on the opening bars of this minuet, dealing with elaborations in smaller note values for the right hand and elaborations for the bass. Please feel free to comment, share and like. See you soon!